Hello and welcome to my channel. I will be sharing with you this amazing piece that I did the other day using this little piggy and golden. I um, am using the colors Nebula from this little piggy. It's the first color I'm going to show you. I do mix them with Bayer Deep Base 8300. It is the high gloss enamel. It is no color at all. I also mix this little piggy with Jasonia varnish. Um, so the varnish goes in first and then I mix it with the powder. After that, then I mix, I, I put the Bayer in. Um, after the Bayer, I put a little bit of my Liquitex medium and I keep on uh, swishing and then I let it sit overnight. The next color I'm showing you is Hammerhead from this little piggy. It is insanely beautiful. Again, it's the same technique as the other one with the mediums. Um, always let them sit overnight. The next day, if you need to add a little bit more medium to thin it out because maybe it got thick overnight, um, I just add a little bit more of Liquitex medium and it seemed to work just fine. Um, and that's, that's the um, hammerhead color. It's a very beautiful blue color. Very beautiful. The next color I'm going to show you in a moment is uh, Brulee. Now, this one was actually a shocker for me. Um, it definitely is a very shimmering type color, but what I found is when the light hits it, when it's wet, for instance, in, in the cup, it has a blue tint. But when you put it on the canvas, it actually has an orange tint. So depending on how you look at the painting with whatever type of lighting, it changes colors and absolutely shocking. It was amazing. Um, now the base paint, this is my base paint. It's a mix of many different blues. Um, I just collect a bunch of old pores leftovers um, into a cup and I've been saving it over time. So unfortunately, I'm not able to advise of what colors it actually is. Um, next I'm going to show you is it's part of the base color but um, I added Australian floor troll to it. This is what I'm going to be using for the swipe. Um, I've never used Australian floor troll so this is my first time. I wanted to see how it um, reacted because I'm so used to the American. Um, so basically, I took my already mixed base paint, added the floor trawl in it. Uh, it was two to one and mix. Next is the golden. I do apologize. I'm not sure why I was not in the camera view. Um, but the golden color, it is the nickel azu gold. Um, beautiful color, by the way. Um, this one I actually mixed just with a Liquitex medium and water, um, nothing else. I didn't add um, any, I didn't add floor trod, I didn't add anything else to it. So um, that was for that mix. Um, I'm going to be getting started in a moment. I'm just adjusting my camera, so I do apologize, but hang in there. I'm going to start speeding up this video a little bit and adding some music. Let me know what you think because you guys are going to be shocked. I'm telling you, wait till the end the brulee and what it did it almost looks like a cloud pour but it's not a cloud pour i again it was a shock so um let me know what you think uh, i'm just showing you what the jasonia uh, varnish looks like from fluid art um and the bayer paint again totally missing the camera um, I need to get a better view. I'm going way too high in the camera, <laughs> so I do apologize, but I will make sure that everything's in, in the description. Anyways, I do thank you so much for um, following me. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share, um, and um, enjoy. <laughs>
Okay, so here is a close-up of what I just poured. It's insanely beautiful. And I'm going to show you something about this uh, brulee, this little piggy color. It's crazy because the direction I was seeing it, it was reflecting orange, which was a crazy. So I'm going to slowly come around this way so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. Do you see that? It's a totally different painting and destruction. So depending on the light, it changes. It's absolutely crazy. So, but here's a close up of it. It is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. It's really, really pretty. Here's some of the cells of the Australian floor trawl. Um, they kept disappearing on me, but I think it's because I was spinning it. I think when you're working with um, Australian floor trawl, you're not supposed to spin because I think it helps get rid of some of that stuff. But and do you see how it shimmers and reflects on the light? I mean, look at that. That is just crazy. There's some big cells underneath. That's pretty cool. And if you get close uh if you zoom out you can actually see some of the cells they're just really big ones i'm so used to the smaller ones because of the american floor trawl that i'm not used to such big ones so um yeah but um you know i just had to keep spending it until i found what i was looking for and keep adding more and stuff but you see how the whole paint it just changed do you see how it changed colors that is just crazy. Absolutely crazy. I mean, it looks really pretty. It almost reminds me of what we're seeing on the galaxy up in the space with the telescope. But yeah, it's just beautiful. And you can really hang it any direction. I mean, you can hang it this way. And I mean, it's crazy how it sort of changes depending on what direction you're looking at it. And then if you don't want the white and you prefer the orange, then you can do it this way, which is crazy. It's all of a sudden the white disappears. So I'm interested to see how this um, dries. And um, I will uh, show a dry version at the very end. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Please share. Uh, this is all thanks to this little piggy, um, the paints, and also that beautiful um, paint color from, um, gosh, my mind just went blank, golden. Um, but yeah. Um, if you're looking for these type of paints, you can go to the Fluid Art, uh, website. Um, but yeah, I feel, I see a couple things I'm going to get, but other than that, I keep seeing hairs. I think my dog came in here. That's really irritating me. Okay. I think I may have gotten them all. I just, I really try to keep them out of here for that specific reason because it's amazing how dog hair can just fly. And, um, yeah. Okay. So, that is it. Thank you for watching. Um, and... Don't forget uh, to follow, and I have so many other videos, you guys, so if you guys get a chance to see some of my other videos, um, that would be awesome. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think a name should be. Um, 
I'm interested. And it's so interesting how, if you look at this way, it almost looks like that brulee Miss Little Piggy almost turned into like a cloud pour. Does it look like it's floating? Anyways, that's just crazy. Um, almost reminds me of Jupiter, actually. So maybe I should name this Jupiter. Uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And um, again, I will have everything in the description of the paints and mediums I used. And um, it is a little bit different than the way I mixed it in my um, mixing paint ratio video. Just because these are more high-end, I wanted to use more high-end mediums. And i um, glad I did because it came out just amazing. Um, so enjoy. Thanks.